Hello and welcome. Today I am thrilled to introduce you to this course that will actually revolutionize the way you learn and apply knowledge in your field. So the first question is what is chat GPT? So by now you might have known what it is. But how it is going to help us in the field of water resources, environmental engineering, hydraulics engineering and other similar domains that is something that you can learn from this course on. But still for those people who don't know or you, who hasn't who haven't used chat gpt till now we will start from the very basics and by the end of this course by the way i must tell you there is no end of this course because it will be a continuous learning process and as and when i learn new things that chat gpt has to offer i will tell you through a special video but for now there are few things that i have actually learned and that is going to increase your productivity at least 4 to 5 times that you currently are okay so who is this course for so this course is for students who are actually doing their masters or bachelors in the respective domains and want to know how the technology is going to drive their job market in the coming years so if you know coding that is okay but even if you don't know now you need to know coding in a very different context okay because that is what the future is as somebody has told that ai will not take your job but a person who knows ai will so i will make sure that you know ai okay and when you will know ai you will find yourself into a very advantageous position than your other competitors okay so if you are a job seeker that is also going to affect you and it will help you in getting jobs easily finding much more details i don't want to reveal everything in the introductory lecture but i have a lot for you again if you are someone who is already working in a company and want to get a raise want to change a company want to do your work faster then i must tell you after the end of this course you will be able to do a lot of things that you haven't even thought of right so let's not drive ourselves into fantasies and hold our horses okay so this course will basically consist of two parts the first part will be a very shorter one that will be introduction where i will be telling you what is chat gpt and the broader perspective of the large language models and how it has been trained then the other competitors of chat gpt that are in the market that is google bard and uh, microsoft bing ai because when we know these things we should know what are the limitations of chat gpt and how other competitors can overcome it and what are other competitors lacking it and how chat gpt is better into it okay so then in the, in the second part we will be learning about the applications that how these things can be used so i will not just teaching you how to use chat gpt instead i will be teaching you chat gpt but wherever chat gpt fails i will teach you how to use other language models in that situation because chat gpt apart for from all the advantages that it has it has few limitations also and one of the major limitations is that it is not live it is something which has been trained onto a data set till the year 2021 only so if you are asking something that has happened in 2022 chat gpt will not have a clue about it okay so let's say that i want to integrate chat gpt into a let's say website that there is a article on the website today and i want chat gpt to read it for me and make me understand that article chat gpt will not be able to do it for the simple reason is because it is trained only up to 2021 but here the other competitors have done a good part so they will read that website for you and tell you in a very crisp form what it actually is so without reading that whole article you can just get the summary of it so there are a lot of other things related related to this that you will learn in this course okay so 
some of you might be wondering why this course is in recorded form for the simple reason is because if i do it live you will not be able to practice what i tell you right and then it is something which will require you to watch this these videos maybe two three or more times because it's it's all new so you might not be knowing so many things but if you know well and good but it will be there in the recorded form now one more thing that i will like to tell you that uh, there is a ebook attached in the description section of this video and that ebook is much more detailed and has lot of info more information and prompts then i will be actually delivering in this course because this course has some time constraints because it cannot go for infinite period but if you want to learn more and delve deeper into this you can refer that ebook the link is in description but it is not compulsory you can make such things from your own also and how you will be able to make it you will see it in the further videos so without wasting much time let's go into lecture number 2